Greetings, fellow adventurers. Today, I shall unravel the secrets of creating an MDX blog using my mischievous methods. But hold your horses, my curious compatriots. Before we embark on this trickster's journey, let me remind you to check the blog article and the official documentation in the description below. Remember, my cunning comrades, that I have cunningly borrowed a portion of the content from the illustrious content layer documentation. That's the art of imitation, such a useful trick up a trickster's sleeve. Now to commence our quest, you must summon the next JS app using the command npxcreate-next-app at latest. Be sure to answer yes to everything, except the source directory, unless, of course, you wish otherwise. Oh, and don't forget to install the content layer and next content layer packages. These parts are best copied and pasted directly, my friends. Paste the code into the next config file and do the same for those enigmatic lines in the TS config file. When we launch our mystical website, it shall summon a folder called Content Layer, which we shall promptly ignore in the realm of Git. Fear not, for I have already taken care of this mundane task. To breathe life into the content layer, we must create a peculiar file named contentlayer.config.ts and paste the code within. Behold, it creates for us a type known as post, ensuring the safety of our types. Furthermore, we shall forsake simple markdown and instead embrace the arcane powers of MDX. Within our posts, we are creating the fields of title and date. But for the sake of this twisted tale, let us introduce another field, a mysterious description. Beware, for this field is deemed required, and failure to heed its importance shall surely bring forth the consequences of forgetfulness. Ah, behold! Here it creates URLs for each post, where the path begins with slash post slash followed by the name of the file without the extension. We possess the power to add both Remark and Rehype plugins, but fear not, my comrades, for we shall revisit this matter later. Now let us fashion a post, that we may have something to display within the post directory, residing in the very heart of the root folder. Remember, we have not yet inserted a description, so an error shall greet us, eager to obstruct our path. But first, let us construct the home page. Alas, if you have not yet launched your website, fret not, for an error shall arise. In essence, we sort all the posts extracted from the uncharted path, arranging them by date. We navigate through this array with purpose, mapping and presenting the captivating essence of each post for all to behold. Lo and behold! Let us also forge a postcard component, a humble display of the post's essence. Nothing more, nothing less. Except, perhaps, a word of note, I shape the date with the mysterious date-time format. However, if it does not suit your fancy, feel free to alter it to your liking. Now, let the adventure begin. Unleash the command npm run dev and witness as it generates the fabled content layer folder. But lo, an error rises. As I deem it unworthy to include a description, I shall declare it as not required, and thus all shall be well. Of course, we have yet to craft a page for the individual post, so a 404 error shall plague our path. Fear not. We shall construct a dynamic route in the form of post slash slug in square brackets slash page dot tsx. Alas, the fake component does not exist, thus I shall banish it and tidy up the code. It was a mere fog, 
a trick to demonstrate the power of adding components. Here, we summon the static parameters woven from the strands of imagination. And here, the metadata unfurls its essence. Should it fail to find the desired post, it shall seek solace in the comforting embrace of the not found function, gifted to us by the mighty Next.js. This, my friends, is the realm of Next.js magic. If these concepts elude you, I urge you to consult the sacred scrolls of documentation. Once more, we traverse the path, seeking the elusive post whose name aligns with the enigmatic slug. Should we fail, a solemn for all for page shall grace our presence, whispering tales of lost opportunities. To unveil the mystical MDX content, we shall harness the mighty power of the use MDX content function. Remember, within these hallowed markdown files, we possess the ability to conjure components. Let us create one, shall we? But wait! In next 13, heed this counsel. Should you desire a button or any interactive sorcery for the client, employ the sacred use client. Without it, your endeavors shall crumble into naught but dust. To wield this newfound power, we must embed the component within an object, as if enshrining it within a forbidden artifact. Now, let us put it to the test. Behold, it works. Ah, now we return to the matter of rehype and remark plugins. Choose but one and install it. One for one shall summon the formidable remark GFM among the most renowned of its kind. This enchantment shall grant us the ability to create tables, among other marvels. Once installed, import its essence and bestow it upon the Remark plugins array. Simple as that. And lo, as if by magic, we can now weave tables into our realm of existence. But beware, for should we remove the plugin, its sorcery shall cease to be. Imagine, if you will, a world in which the user still encounters the dreaded for o for error. Fret not, for we have the means to style this woeful page. How you ask? Fear not, for it is a mere quirk of Next.js sorcery. Merely create a page name not found.tsx within the app folder and let it breathe life into your desolate creation. And thus, our tale draws to a close. May you embark upon your own epic quests, armed with the knowledge of MDX blogs and the tricks of the trickster. Until we meet again, my fellow adventurers.